medians of triangle the median of triangle is the line segment drawing from the triangle vertex to the middle of the opposite side of this vertex such that if we have triangle a b c and we draw line segment ed bisect cb as a point d then ed we called it the median then the median is the line segment joined between the vertex and the middle of the opposite sides of this angle then ed is the median okay and we have the theorem the medians of triangle are congruent the medians of triangle are congruent we have medians and the median in equilateral triangle the medians in equilateral triangle will be equal in lenses and the median of triangle are intersect at one point okay again you must cancel this word congruent and write intersect at one point again the medians of triangle are intersect at one point it's a serium such that co and bn and ed intersect at the point m then ed is the median and co is the median bn is the median they are intersect at the one point m okay then the medians of triangle are intersect in one point not right congruent congruent where if we have a collateral triangle if we have a collateral triangle then the medians of this triangle will be congruent but if he give us a scalene or uh, isosceles then uh, don't write congruent we must write the medians of triangle are intersect in the point and the point of constraints of the medians of triangle divided each median the ratio one and two from the base or two one from the vertex such that this triangle abc we have here the median this point here and if we have this side lanes mn was two centimeters in em will be two centimeter in the point of constraints of the median of triangle divides each median in the ratio one to two from the base or two to one from the vertex such that if we have a n is a median then the ratio between a m and a n equal what a m was two parts and a n three parts and what about n m n m and a m n m of a m okay and theorem number three talk about it right angle triangle right angle triangle the median in right angle triangle will be divide the base to parts quality such as that a m equal m b this triangle a b c and m c will be half of hypotenuse a p a b here we call that hypotenuse a p then mc half of a b okay in the triangle angle triangle the length of the median from the vertex of the right angle triangle have the length of hypotenuse then cm cm half of ab okay and if we talk about this triangle third sixty then the side lengths which always is the third degree will be half the hypotenuse such as that abc right angle triangle at b and the measure of angle c 30 degrees and eb will half eb will be equal half e c
and converse 3 and 3. If the length of the median from the vertex of triangle equal half the length of the opposite side's vertex, then the angle will be right in this triangle. Okay, he give us angle and side length joined from this vertex, a triangle ABC joined from E to the middle of this hypotenuse, or he give, give us EM was equal half CB, then the measure of angle E will be 90 degree. Okay, again, again, if we have triangle ABC and give us the length of line segment EN, half of the side CP, then this line segment joined from the vertex of right angle triangle, then the measure of angle E equal 90 degree. Again, if the length of the median from a vertex of triangle equal half the opposite side of this vertex, then the angle at this vertex is right. Isosceles triangle. The base angles of isosceles triangle are congruent. The base angles we have here, isosceles triangle. The base angles, the base angles of the isosceles triangle are congruent. Congruent is meaning equal in the measure. Okay, we have two sides, quality, then the measure of two angles in the base will be equal in the measure or congruent. We have calorie. If the triangle is equilateral, then it is equilateral which each angle will be 60 degree. If we have a equilateral triangle, then the measure of each angle equal 60 degree. Okay. Calorie here. Look at this. The median of isosceles triangle from the vertex angle bisect the vertex angle and perpendicular to the base. If we have isosceles triangle and we draw the median, we know the median is a line segment joined from the vertex and bisect the base. Then the median here, EM, as this triangle ANB. A N will be perpendicular to B N and vertex bisect the vertex A. He will do two orbits bisect the vertex angle and perpendicular to the base. Again, the median of an isosceles triangle from vertex angle bisect the vertex angle and perpendicular to the base. Okay, and what about it? The inverse. What about if we have perpendicular or the bisector, if we have bisector here, the bisector vertex, okay, again, we have number two, the bisector of the vertex angle of isosceles triangle bisects the base, it will be bisects the base and perpendicular to it. And what about it, number three? The straight line drawing passing through the vertex angle of isosceles triangle perpendicular to the base. What about it if EM perpendicular to the base BN? Then this line symmetry bisects the vertex and will be bisects the base. Bisects the base and the vertex angle. Do two steps. Again, if we have a straight line drawing from the vertex passing through the vertex uh, uh, of an isosceles triangle perpendicular to the base. What will do? It will bisect. It will bisect. It will be. It will bisect. It will bisect the base and the vertex angle. Again, the straight line and drawing passing through the vertex angle of an isosceles triangle perpendicular to the base bisects the base and the vertex angle. Axis of symmetry. The axis of symmetry of a line segment. This is a definition. You must know this definition. The axis of symmetry of a line segment is the perpendicular straight line at the middle. If we have line segment AB and we have a straight line bisect at the middle, we call that line symmetry. 
you can ask it you the axis of symmetry of line segment is the perpendicular to a straight line at the middle number five the straight line drawing from the vertex angle of isosceles triangle perpendicular to the base is called axis of symmetry if we have isosceles triangle and we draw straight line perpendicular to the base and the bisect the base here we called it axis of symmetry if we have straight line perpendicular to the base and the basic it we called it axis of symmetry number six any point on the axis of symmetry at equal distance from any points if we have line symmetry here if we have point e the distance between e and m will be equivalent distance between e and m it's equivalent any point at the axis of line segment is equal distance from end points.